Hey guys, I wanted to share with you my setup for the exposed module Zui mod. I get a lot of questions about which animations I'm using, which window effects I'm using. This video should answer all of that for you and you can copy my setup if you want to. Now if we just check out the uh, transitions I'm talking about and the animations, this first one is called a list view animation. You can see it's uh, definitely different from stock. This is probably the one I get the most questions about. I'll tell you my exact settings a little bit later. I also get a lot of questions about this little application down here, this uh, little switcher, and it is called switcher. This is nothing to do with the exposed module. This is just something, this is just an application. I will link it in the description. Uh, I actually made a review on this, but the animation I use to actually switch applications, that's Zui mod. And you can see just how quick it is. It's one of my favorite animations and it's just, in my opinion, better than the uh, stock one. And lastly, we have the window effect. You can see here when I push my power button, this kind of uh, little window comes in a little bit different and disappears a little bit different to how it does on stock. Again, that is Zui mod. So let's go ahead and check out these settings. Okay, so we're gonna jump straight into the animation section because that's the only part of Zui mod I actually use. And uh, we'll start off with list view animation here and we'll go list view animation again. And I've got mine set to scale. That's my favorite one. I've tried them all, but that is the one that I think looks the best. And the interpolator I've got set to anticipate and overshoot. The animation duration, I changed to 304. I think by default it's 500 and it was just too slow for me. So 300-ish was uh, was better and it's just a little bit faster. The persistent cache I've actually got set to animation and scrolling. I just felt like it made it a little bit quicker to use if I had both of those on. I'm not sure if that's a placebo effect, but I leave it on anyway. Obviously you can test the list view here and you can see exactly what it looks like. So it's nice and responsive, nice and quick when you're scrolling through. It doesn't take ages for the animation to happen. That's mainly that animation time or animation duration. The blacklist apps I've got set to Sky Plus, Facebook and Tabatalk, that may be different for you depending on which applications you have. But that's the list view animation done. Okay, so next up we've got system animation. If we dive into this, I only changed two things in here. One of them is the animation controls, the other one is window transitions. If we tap this, you can see that little uh, animation, the way the window popped up, that's what we're gonna be changing. And I've got that set to Toko ROM transitions. Looks kind of cool, right? Now, it actually changes a few other things that I don't really like, and you can see those here. If I go into animation controls, it changes the uh, in-app transition to that, and it changes the back transition to that, which I don't really like. It looks a little bit slow, it looks a little bit weird. So what you need to do is dive into the animation controls, turn these on, click prevent app overrides, and I change the animation duration to 241 ms to make it a little bit quicker, and then you need to change the open in-app activity and the close in-app activity to fade. And you can see once I've turned those on, when I go back it's just a fade, and when I go back in, again, it's just a fade, which to me just looks a little bit more elegant, looks a little bit more normal, and I think it's a little bit quicker as well. So. Yeah, now I also changed the launch from in-app animation to grow in left and there's a reason for that. If I turn these off, I'll show you what I mean. If I use my switcher application to change to Twitter, you'll see the animation is that kind of rotating effect, which I don't really like and it looks a little bit clunky, a little bit slow to me. And so that's what the thing I wanna change. So if we turn these back on, I've got it set to grow in left. If we now try and change application to Twitter, it grows in from the left. You can see just how quick that is. It's much quicker and faster and looks more fluid. Than the, uh, than the default animation. I also changed the move to front animation to grow in left as well. And if I turn those off, if I go, for example, to settings, which pulls it to the front, again, it has that weird rotating animation. Same as if we open up a module, it has it again. So I'm not a massive fan of that pretty much anywhere. So if we turn those on, I've also got the move to front animation set to grow in left. And if we now open settings, you'll see it's a lot quicker. If we open a module, boom, it's, it's much quicker there. So, yeah, everything else here I've got set to default, guys, and that's pretty much all I changed on my Zooey mod. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.